What's up YouTube, this is Fake coming to you today with another deck profile and tonight we've got a very special deck profile. I managed to get my hands on my very own Shadal deck. After uh, doing the, the profile at the locals with uh, Elias, took uh, some of uh, the tips uh, that he went with his deck profile, I decided to pursue my own, end up using a lot of resources to get this but it runs very smoothly. Has a couple of key twist plays and a card in here that uh, nobody's running in it yet or that I've seen so far. This is uh, probably one of my most polished deck profile builds I've had in a while, but without further ado, let's get started. For starters, with most uh, traditional Shadal decks, uh, we start with Triple Shadal Beast. The main draw injured, uh, one of, plus one of the facilitators of the deck. Next we run Triple Shadal Dragon, good for popping back row and if you have to set him face down it's uh, good for field control. Two Shadal Squamata, helps get some of those key Shadal plays to your graveyard, helps uh, send the Shadal Beast uh, to your graveyard to draw through Mathematician combo. And it's, it's just needed, uh, however not as heavily needed at uh, more than two. Next we also run Double Shadal Hedgehog. Really good search for this build, whether you're flipping them up to get the Spell Trap or gain the, that uh, free Shadal uh, search uh, after he gets destroyed by an effect. Really good. And then I personally run Triple Shadal Falco. I understand uh, why people choose to run two or less. Uh, early game this does get kind of cloggy a little bit. However, with some of the key choices uh, that made it for this build, and the fact that I do run the more of a synchro heavy setup, Triple Shadal Falco has worked wonders uh, for uh, my specific build. Next, moving on uh, to the light attribute monsters, I chose uh, a little bit of the Light Sworn engine. Triple uh, Raiden Hand of the Light Sworn. Very good uh, facilitator for uh, discards and setting off other Shadal effects. I also run one Lila and one Felice, back row hate and good uh, Arcanite combo with uh, Mathematician uh, to uh, set up a backdoor play if needed. And since I'm running enough uh, lights with my darks, one BLS for those fun plays. And then for the other supporters, we run something that is very needed for a build like this, Triple Mathematician. Helps uh, support the bulk of your plays. One glow bulb helps with the synchro plays and is an excellent, excellent earth attribute monster for this build. And now for what my random tech that probably nobody's uh, going to see coming with this card. One blizzard princess. And please, I beg of you. Do not uh, go to a different video right now. I've actually got a really good explanation with uh, Blizzard Princess. And it's also part reason why I do run Triple Shadol Falco. It gets that monster on board. You only need one Spellcaster type monster to uh, Tribute Summon her. And after that's done, she actually helps set off OTKs. Basically when she's Tribute Summoned and set to the field, she is a cold wave for the rest of that turn. So afterwards you can combo with uh, your Shadal fusions, your El Shadal fusions, start swarming your fusion monsters on the board, and with a 28 attack stat of her own, it uh, creates uh, some surprise OTK plays that your opponent cannot respond against. That is it for the monster lineup, on to the spells. For stars we run the triple Shadal fusion. And the El Shadal Fusion, both really good in Shadal decks uh, in their own rights. Then next, uh, since I run five Light Swarms, uh, which is generally enough to uh, run this guy, Charge of the Light Brigade. And the mill usually uh, kicks out the Glow Bulb slash uh, Shadal combos that helps uh, set up for future plays, which is fantastic. One Foolish Burial helps set off effects, facilitate plays. Then next I run one Soul Charge, 
One mind control for again being more of a synchro heavy deck. One snatch deal. And for this build, instead of Dark Hole, I found my Regeki. There's uh, all for the spells, for the traps. Triple Sinister Shadow Games. I've also seen people uh, in higher up builds bump this down to two cards, but I am running a higher normal amount of Shadow Monsters than most variants, so Triple Sinister Shadow Games helps keep me going for the later game. And to provide that extra defense boost one all morning. That is it for the main deck. On to the extra deck. Start off with the fusions. I run two El Shadal Constructs. Very good for, again, facility in place. Uh, kicks out the extra Shadal monster when it's initially summoned. Helps get the fusion cards back when it's destroyed. Lays a lot of hate with special summoned monsters. Two El Shadal Winda. Just lays a lot of hate against special summoning in general. And uh, helps uh, with uh, some key uh, defensive plays that you use with your El Shadal uh, quick play card if you, in case you want to stop special summoning combos. And then uh, I run two El Shadal Shekinagas. Especially since Globe Bulb is such a live card in this build, I feel felt like playing two of these guys gives me enough of a defensive and offensive option for those uh, key plays uh, to... Uh, this more facilitating the longevity of a couple of my games. I've only focused on those three attributes for now. I'm debating on getting that uh, new secret rare card from the Secrets of Eternity, the Equip uh, El Shadal Fusion Monster, or Fusion Spell, rather. And if uh, that becomes as good as I think it's going to be, expect me to uh, add in the El Shadal uh, Grista into the mix with the other fusions. Next, on to the Synchros for the level 5. One Armades. Just a general good level 5. Then for the level 6s, I run one Goyo Guardian. One Tempest Magician. I took this tip from Elias uh, to heart and it has paid off in dividends. Especially since you don't f generally facilitate uh, level 4s as much on the field as with uh, a few other Shadal variants. Gaga Ga Cowboy is not as viable of an option. However, if you have the right scenario and you keep the recurrence uh, up, Tempest Magician can do a lot more burn damage uh, in the late game to help uh, decide if you want to go for that uh, last to knockout punch. Next for the level 7s, we run one Arcanite Magician and one Black Rose uh, Dragon, pretty standard. For the one level 8s, I decided to go offensive with this choice, so I went with uh, Red Hat Dragon Archfiend. Good to destroy for all other face-up attack monsters. And against uh, mass swarmed fields, specifically with uh, Cleeforts, this guy has already helped me in a couple of those matchups and to re regain some of that field presence. And since there is a really good shot at running level 10s, the old Keeper of Sacred Tree, really good uh, body to get on the field, hard to get around. And then for the last two uh, Exceeds monsters, I do for those uh, times where I do need to go into those level 4 plays to bail me out, one number 101 Sound Honor Arc, and one Evil Swarm Exciting Knight. And with that, that is my uh, Shadol deck. Thanks for watching the video, and as always, comment, rate, and subscribe. And until next time.